feels like we're in the Midwest, but we're technically in Ohio. Welcome back to the Bug Eye State. Well, I would be going out towards Middlebury, Ohio on the Anna Chicago one. So, I'm going to tell you guys what was happening this day. So, me starting off at Middlebury on Flander Road. I will be giving some heads up the following day about a 880 coming from Chicago to go to Monroe, Michigan. That all changed in that morning that it will be tied down in SWAT. However, the midday I was given some heads up about an 880 departing, not with the 25th anniversary of Montana Wellman. That will be changing to put into a, a local symbol. I thought it would be going to Monroe. It was not going to Monroe, and I'm going to Sandusky instead. Now today, on the 28th, 2024, I will be out well fanning and be catching the train, B-52. So this one is definitely heading to Monroe this time. Why did it go to Sandusky? No idea. Maybe it's because they weren't ready for it. Probably because of the mats. I was happy I would be able to get the concert since Memorial Day I was unable to. So, yeah. With the 25th anniversary in the Montana Railway. It's coming off the siding of Vickers after the crew was outlawed. So they got a new crew on 276. It's coming from Chicago to Norfolk, Virginia. He had a solo C6M bleeding, but then he's gonna have two mid DPUs locomotives. Also, spoil it now, it's gonna have. P S78 and then another C6M being as a mid DPU on this 276. It's kind of weird how he's coming off the siding.
Street 4 would have a couple high hoods trailing second and third. They would basically head to Detroit, Michigan from Bellevue, Ohio. We would get a UP Ace would be trailing as a mid DPU. There goes. And now we would have triple three with an SD40 high hood and then a, a normal SD40. But then this train that's coming up would be B52, or I have no idea what the symbol on this one would be. I think it's B52 with the 25th anniversary in uh, Montana Well Link. They are now heading to Monroe, Michigan, the DT power plant. Getting the Western Lash of Duo, we would get this 12 in going eastbound, going towards Conway, as it was kind of unexpected to catch a, another train after the, the B 52 went by. I didn't hear anything on the radio at all. The only thing I heard about was the 282 detector for the. B-52, but, yeah. Anyway, after we catch this 12 in or whatever eastbound manifest that's going by, we would go to Millbury to catch the B-52 again, aka the 25th and the Montana Lillard again.
Oh, look. That's a deer. After we caught that short and a log wolf, which I have no idea where that one goes. Anyway, after catching that, we saw a deer that was just chilling on the tracks. And then I was hearing the defect detector, 282.9, and kind of forgot about 267, where it had a fake bonnet leader. And I was th thinking to myself, Oh crap, I better get ready to shoot this 267. I had plenty of time since he was still quite a bit ways. So, we shoot it. Pretty cool. But then I think when they line the next train, it'll be B 52. would end up getting lined after 15 to 20 minutes later. 267 end up stopping because I guess they need to work mega or airline yard. So I get this way. We've seen this train twice in a row. Vickers and Milbury. So that was kind of cool. We saw it during daylight at Milbury and then now it's cloudy at Vickers.
It ain't over yet. Even though it's starting to downpour here at Vickers. Well, it won't be over just yet. After a few hours later, after a cookout, I would head home, but then I end up seeing this just sitting at CP LaSalle. No clues on it, so I was able to get some pictures for myself. And the pictures actually turned out pretty good. But yeah, unfortunately, this video was wrapped up here at CP LaSalle on the NS Detroit line. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all either the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.